Ultimately, we, human beings, are all Africans. Claim, studies of mitochondrial DNA have proven that. All human beings are descended from a small population. Less than a hundred individuals. That emerged from Africa about 60,000 years ago. So, to begin with, there were only 100 people more or less? How true or an established fact is this statement? A. The statement is largely accurate. But needs a bit of clarification for a complete understanding. Here's a breakdown. Common ancestry, the idea that we are all Africans, reflects the concept that all modern humans share a common ancestry. That can be traced back to Africa. Question. So, this statement is saying, the idea that we are all Africans reflects the concept that all modern humans share a common ancestry that can be traced back to Africa. That modern humans, us, in this modern age, or the humans of the past that led up to our modern age? A. The statement primarily refers to modern humans, us, as well as our ancestors in the more distant past. Here's a breakdown of how this concept applies to both. Modern humans, us. The idea that we are all Africans means that all people living today share a common ancestry that can be traced back to Africa. This means that regardless of where someone is born or lives now, their genetic lineage ultimately connects to a population that lived in Africa tens of thousands of years ago. Ancestors of modern humans. This concept also applies to our ancient ancestors. The genetic evidence, including studies of mitochondrial DNA and other genetic markers, shows that the ancestors of all modern humans originated in Africa. Question. So, the claim of the Bible that all life started in Mesopotamia and the related regions is incorrect. Or could it have been that masses of people from a then not yet named large mass of land, not yet affected by tectonic cracks and activity as a result in a land unnamed, or put onto maps as countries etc., were just territories, locations, where people migrated to, following the animals, looking for better climate conditions, and so forth, and dwelt in for many decades? A. The question raised involves reconciling scientific understanding of human origins with interpretations of historical or religious texts, like the Bible. Here's how these perspectives can be understood. Scientific Perspective Origins of Modern Humans Based on current scientific evidence, Homo sapiens originated in Africa around 200,000 to 300,000 years ago. This is supported by fossil evidence and genetic studies. Modern humans migrated out of Africa and spread to other parts of the world, including Europe, Asia, and eventually the Americas. Geological and Archaeological Evidence Fossil and genetic evidence shows that early humans lived in Africa and migrated to other regions. Mesopotamia, which is located in the modern-day Middle East, is not considered the original homeland of Homo sapiens, but is significant in later human history. The Teutonic activity and formation of continents were ongoing processes. But human migrations are better understood in terms of the migration patterns of early humans and the development of civilizations. These early humans, who lived around 60,000 years ago, eventually migrated out of Africa and spread across the globe, leading to the diverse populations we see today. In summary, the statement captures the idea that both contemporary humans and their ancient ancestors can trace their origins back to Africa. It emphasizes our shared genetic heritage and the migration patterns that led to the current distribution of human populations around the world. A. Genetic evidence supports this view. Studies of mitochondrial DNA, mtDNA, which is passed from mother to offspring, show that all living humans can trace their maternal lineage back to a single population in Africa. Mitochondrial Eve The reference to a small population less than a hundred individuals 
is related to the concept of mitochondrial Eve. This is a term used to describe the most recent common matrilineal ancestor of all currently living humans. It's important to note that this does not mean there was only one woman alive at that time. Rather, it means that her mtDNA lineage is the only one that survived to the present day, while other lineages did not. Question. So, based on current scientific evidence, Homo sapiens originated in Africa around 200,000 to 300,000 years ago. This is supported by fossil evidence and genetic studies. Then this would mean Homo sapiens began in Africa. Not Mesopotamia etc., but the hominids, Cro-Magnums, Neanderthals, etc. Were those who originally were the indigenous dwellers there? A. Yes, that's correct. Here's a detailed breakdown. Origins of Homo sapiens. Africa as the origin. Homo sapiens, modern humans, are understood to have originated in Africa around 200,000 to 300,000 years ago. This conclusion is supported by fossil evidence and genetic studies, which show that the earliest known Homo sapiens fossils and the greatest genetic diversity are found in Africa. Migration out of Africa. Modern humans began migrating out of Africa in multiple waves starting around 60,000 years ago, though there may have been earlier migrations. This migration led to the colonization of Europe, Asia, and eventually other parts of the world. Other hominins. Neanderthals, Homo neanderthalensis. Neanderthals lived in Europe and parts of Western Asia. They are considered a distinct species or subspecies of the genus Homo. They were well adapted to the cold climates of Ice Age Europe and are not considered ancestors of modern humans, but rather contemporaneous hominins. Cro-Magnons cro were early modern humans, Homo sapiens, who lived in Europe during the Upper Paleolithic period. They are essentially the same species as modern humans, but are distinguished by their early presence in Europe. 